Okay, in this video what I'd like to do is show you how to reset the IP address with using a Flex IO 1749 Series A. The college that I work at was recently gifted a number of these Flex IOs from a company that was going through a major upgrade. We wanted to integrate this into the class so we could show our students how to program remote I.O. We've never had that capability before and so this was a great opportunity for us to do it. But we ran into a problem. These had had an IP address already installed on them and we had no idea what those IP addresses were. As you can see, they're not written on the front. Now, with the Series B for these and other later series, it's a little bit easier to reset the I, um, IP address. With this, it's not that easy, and there are a couple of little things that I want to show you. So if you ever run into this situation, this is how you fix it. Now, you can see um, I actually have the Flex.io hooked into our Ethernet, our little intranet in the classroom, but it's not appearing here. We have two others that I've already done this same thing to. I already have two Flex IO here that are running and operating correctly, and so I want to show you now the steps, and you'll see this appear here and the expansion ports that we have on here. Now to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to need the MAC address on the front of the um, on the sticker on the front of the Flex IO, and you're going to need uh, your Boot P program to reset these. Now there may be some other ways to do this, and uh, more than likely there are, but this is the most direct way that I've been able to find. So what we have here is our Boot, boot IP, and you can see that everything that is tied to this intranet has a IP address. That's why their Ethernet address Mac is not appearing. So to override this, there's a couple of steps and this will determine on what version of boot P you are using. Sometimes there's a couple of different steps so you may have to look around a little bit, but this is how we do it here. We're going to select the new function here and we're going to type in the Mac address that you can see here scoot this out of the way, that you can see over in the upper right hand corner. This is 0000, 000 B C 0 6 E 75 A. And I don't have to put the colons in here. It will automatically add those to it. Now the IP, the IP address I'm going to use is 192.168.001.66. Okay, now I've established that IP address because it's, uh, you know, looking at all of the other IP addresses that I have and how I have them grouped. This is the process that we do. Now, right before I do this, then I, right before I let, before I hit OK here, I snap a picture of it with my phone just so I have a record of what I've put in there. And I'm going to select OK. And you can see it's selected and put this down here. So I'm going to select this, go to Tools. I'm going to go to Relation List, and I'm going to select Reset Modules Network to Factory Default. Okay, This message has been sent over to it according to the MAC address that I have found, and I'm going to give it a minute, and ideally, now, there it is, and now you can see that you're seeing this in recent histories that this is here. Now, if you scroll down, you now see that in the tree, your network tree. So I can scan over here. Now I have three compared to where before I only had two. And the the IP address matches with what I have. So now I'm going to select here, disable boot IP, send that command over so it will retain this IP address when we lose power, which we do because we unplug things a lot here, and then I am ready to go. I can close this out. Do you want to save changes? Hit yes. If you want to file this away, which I don't think is necessary, but if you want to, I keep it in my documents. Drop it into here and uh, hit save. And I'm ready to go. Now this is here. I can expand this out and I can actually see what cards I have tied into it. And this is how you change the IP address on a Flex IO 
uh, Allen Bradley, 1794, Series A. And maybe you may be able to do some of these same steps later uh, in some of the later series, but this is the most direct way I've found it on here. So if you ever gifted one of these, or if you ever run into a situation where you need to change the IP address on a Flex IO, these would be one of the ways that you can do it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye.